Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, good morning. Whatever time it is for you all. Good that. <laughs> Hope you're, everyone is doing well. I myself am doing quite well because I've got a new set of headphones and they are wonderful. It was just in Cowley's stream, just talking about them before. Big fan. Uh, they are great. They just feel so, like, nice. It's, it's so weird, so it's like you don't even realize how good something is until you, you know, you try it for the first time. And so I had some pretty good headphones. But then I tried these on and it, I forgot that I was wearing headphones. They were that comfortable and they were that easy to wear. Which is just more than what you could ever want with a set of headphones. And they're really like decently sensitive as well so they pick up sound really nicely which is super cool. For those of you who are interested, I'm actually going to have to take my headphones off to tell you what kind of headphones they are. But they are DT990 Pros. So, it also feels like I can hear the outside world, but it doesn't impede on my audio. Like, my audio levels, either. So the audio that I'm actually listening to. Which is astoundingly awesome. More often than not, when I'm at work... I usually take one headphone off, off my head, and I have my ears sticking out, or my ears sticking out, just so that I can hear my coworkers. Because otherwise, I, I just, you know, unintentionally ignore them, and that's pretty, pretty fucked up. You know, it's not my fault, but now I don't have that issue. I can hear everything going on as if it's. You know, as if I'm not wearing headphones. You can really tell I'm like, I'm an audio like tech nut because of how excited I'm getting about a set of headphones. <laughs> but they are cool. Like, it's a little thing that makes a huge difference, you know? And I love sharing that kind of stuff because it's the first it's the first piece of kit that I'm using to upgrade my setup. So next thing on the way is the microphone. So I'm getting a new microphone. Very excited for that one because again, audio, audio tech stuff. I'm just a huge, huge nerd for. And it's a pretty good quality mic. Can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, and I don't have it here so that I can just read it out to you guys. Um, but it's really good, and it'll be a really nice upgrade from these pod mics that I've had for about, God, almost like six years. So they've done a really good job, but it's just time for an upgrade. New year, new me, as so many, as I've heard so many people say. And that is no exception for the mouse. And New Year, new comic. Or, same comic, new chapter. You get it. I think I'm going to do some of that, yeah, sand kicking, or dirt kicking, as I did with the previous panel. But it should be just a little bit less because Ratchet's only putting his heel down as opposed to his whole foot. Give him a bit of depth there. Yeah. We don't really need to see anything else otherwise. I love these panels, these really simple, easy to draw panels where 
very little is required of me other than to just draw a, a boot and some dirt. It's the best. Eh, meh. That's okay, but not good enough. And the best part is I could just move along to the next part. I might add some things, but other than that, I don't need to. I don't have to. But I will do. For detail's sake. This crease just a little bit deeper. Nice. Is that everything? Let's see, once I fill it in, it'll all become clear. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, I love me a simple, simple, easy panel. It's the best. <laughs> Couldn't ask for anything else. Gonna grab an orange, orangey color. As we kind of cross this landscape. Slowly but surely getting ratchet to Timberstone. Hmm, does that look right? Something about that seems off to me. It's just not curve in the way I, I want it to. I want it like that. Because it sets the pattern, like the precedent for the pattern. Pattern. Not pattern. Pattern. Again, my accent just <laughs> messing with me. Yeah. It's that simple. Might go, actually might go green for the bush because it's a little too jarring to look at otherwise. And I'm sure it'd be fine with a little bit of shading and highlighting, but I kinda don't want that to be the case, not with this one. Just wanna get it done, get through it. Cause it's a fairly simple panel that doesn't need to be that complicated. And though I'm enthusiastic about making it complicated, I shouldn't be. <laughs> I shouldn't be. Because then I just end up spending more time on it. Too much time on it, really. Nerd? What? Hey, Loki. How you doing? How you dozen? Lovely to see you again. Feels like merely moments ago we were chatting in Kelly's stream. But you are right. I was nerding out about my, my headphones, so I am just a big old nerd. I am guilty of that. And, but am I... Do I feel ashamed? Absolutely not. Freaking love these headphones. They're awesome. <laughs> They're so cool. They don't have any, any like they they don't have any like special features. They're just really comfortable and they sound good. They're good quality and they feel good. Yeah. 
Hold on, guys. I'm just going to take a little moment. So I posted a story on my Instagram. And I did, I did tag um, the makers the makers of um, the, the headphones and they just responded to my to my story which is kind of cool so this day has just gotten better for me I've had a migraine all day because of the weather oh that sucks that's pretty rough I'm so sorry to hear that Loki I'm sure you're drinking plenty of water so you don't need me to tell you to make sure to drink plenty of water but I'm sorry to hear that man That's that must be really rough Ugh, yeah, no, I hate, I hate migraines. You get, actually, I don't know if I want to just ask, but, like, are you getting some of those, like, visual migraines as well, where it kind of, like, blocks out your vision? Because I, if I get a migraine, I usually get a migraine like that, and they are just awful. So, I definitely sympathize. Any sort of headache is just the fucking worst. Honestly. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> the makers of the headphones just like my story. And I said, why is there a bag of jelly <laughs> gummy bears in here? I'm sure they're just as confused. Nope, no auras with the this. They are very r rare for you. Fair enough. Well, I guess that's something. But even so, it's still not fun. Still no buen. Ah. I do hope I do hope it clears up soon. Both the weather and your headache associated with it. Cause yeah, I nothing worse than a headache. I mean there are a few things worse, but like personally nothing worse. You know what I'm saying? Just here putting my foot in my mouth, you know, the use. <laughs> Just rambling for the sake of it. I'll do while well, I'm here. Those are kind of cute, those are cute little little leaves I'll try to keep things like nice and quiet and I'll keep the lo-fi on uh, for you Loki just so then you've got something that's not too uh, abrasive to listen to and I know my voice is abrasive enough but that I can't really do much about so I'll just keep the lo-fi on keep it nice and chill just a bunch of pain and a bottle of eggnog going drink <laughs> drink me, I will help with the pain. Yeah, eggnog is really good for that, I think. I actually have no idea, but I assume so. I assume it's really good. <laughs> I'm not a doctor, clearly. I'm a mouse. Ah, oh, shit. But yeah, just take it easy. Take it easy, chill out. Have your have your eggnog. Delicious, delicious eggnog. And, and clear your head. As it were. <laughs> Most things that are 30 proof help with headaches. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. I might actually, oh, I, not might, I will actually keep that in mind. Because honestly, like I said, I'm, I'm not prone to headaches, but when I do get headaches, they are quite bad. So I will actually definitely keep that in the mind. Take a quick shot of absinthe if I get a headache. Is that 30 proof? Probably not. Who knows? I mean... Most people will know better than me. But, you know.
is missing. There we go. Alcohol helps, but try to keep it middle of the road. Plus, most lower stuff like that have extra fats and sugars that help. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Having a night, like, yeah. Sends a good stimulation to the brain. Tells it stop, stop doing the hurty. I can respect that. Can you just fill it? Yeah. Giving the shoes a few little, eh. I was gonna say giving the shoes a few little dimples, but they don't really work. They do not work for this specific bit. It just doesn't make sense. Do I add anything else? I haven't added anything else for for the other boot, so it wouldn't make sense to add stuff here. Hey, Opa, how you doing? It's lovely to see you. How was your uh, how were your holidays? How's your new year? Speaking of, Happy New Year. Tell you what, I wish Clip Studio had the same thing with Procreate where I could just slide the color into the, into the filled like ring. New Year is horrible. Um, been back at work for almost a week now. Oh, that's rough. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Orpa. I hope it I hope it picks up. At the very least. Hope work's keeping you busy, but the good kind of busy. I'll admit I've been back at work for, for a week now as well. But happy new year to you too. Ah, thank you. Oh, so far so good, but like, I would say my new year has been good, but only because nothing has happened, so it's been very uneventful. More so than necessarily positive. I got new headphones and I've been talking about them to death. Got them this, I uh, got them this year, got them, well I did get them this year, but I got them today, <laughs> which is this year. But just very happy about them. They're very cool. They don't have any fancy tech or anything like that, but they are just cool. Good quality. Feel good. Been wearing them all day and have forgotten that they were on my head sometimes. Uh, could be better, could be worse. Tran tranquil even is good. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Could be good, could be... Uh, could be worse, could be better, but right now it, it is what it is, right? Fancy tech, well, if they transfer audio, they're correct. Yeah, exactly. If I can hear what I'm connected to, that's perfect. But I like the addition of the whole. They're just very comfortable. And so as a result, I don't actually have to adjust them or move them around if they're starting to hurt my head or hurt my ears. Uh, they are DT990s. And weirdly enough, when I ordered them, I received them today in, in a, like a big box. But the box also had gummy bears in them. And I was like, what? Like a bag of gummy bears? It wasn't like to pad the box or anything like that. And so I was just like, I didn't order gummy bears. Certainly not from Germany, which is where the headphones are from. Uh, I hate that phones have moved away from audio jacks. I hate that too, actually. It's such a pain in the ass. It was to make me happy. It succeeded. I'm very happy about it. I'm... It's such a weird little, I mean, like, a delightful little novelty, to say the least. But it is just also so hilarious to me that I've just, I just opened the box and there were just jelly beans. And I was just like, well, I'm not, who am I to turn down Providence? <laughs> you know? I haven't eaten them yet, because I was very suspicious of them. But I was also very, like, taken aback pleasantly. 
Just making a few soft adjustments to this because I think Ratchet's eyes are a little too big and a little too crooked in this frame. And the end of my last year was pretty good because um, I almost met Arnie, which was super cool. While, while you hear Orford, almost met Arnie, was this was like this close. My fingers are really close together for all my audio listeners. Um, here we are again, getting sweating and not shit myself. Yeah, here we are again. It's almost like we are doomed to repeat this cycle. Hey, Cryo, how you doing? Uh, small cost for the company, big positive to the recipient. Yeah, exactly. Almost should have happened. I was so close. I was so close. She was in Adelaide and I was like, oh, I'm in Adelaide. I live here. And she was like, that's cool. And I almost got a, a plushy toy from her, but then didn't. And then she, the, while she was here, I was in Melbourne. And then she went back to, oh shit. She went back to Melbourne and then I went to uh, Canberra. And I was like, shit. And then she went back uh, to Dubai, and I was like, shit. Had your PT session today. Ooh, how'd that go? Was it, did you get a, did you get a good pump on? I don't know why I said it like that. You know me, you've known me long enough. Did you enjoy it? Was it nice? <laughs> BRB, all good? All good? But yeah, hilarious. So close to meeting Arnie, and yet so far. And Nex, like, because I was in Canberra with Nex, and she was just like, yeah, I actually would have been livid if you'd met Arnie before me. And I said, it's more than likely that I will meet Arnie before you. <gasps> hey, kid, how you doing? Mouse of a rocket firework. Mouse of a rocket firework. I can do that. Let me just make a little erase and then I'll do it on. Oh, mouse on a right rocket firework. Okay. That I can do. I'll fix the rest of that later. <laughs> I got important things to do, like a warm up. Uh, mouse on a rocket firework. Oh, that I can do. It kind of looks like a gecko. How you doing, Kit? Very important. Oh yes, super important. <laughs> yeah, this is far more important than the comic that I'm working on. Probably do that a little bit better. Like, oh no, that gives me a weird, weird, messed up face. Which I am used to having, you know, I live with this face, but, you know, it can be better. Had a fight with OBS, but may have it fixed. Oh, that's good. Now here to be your problem. I'm always happy to have you here as my problem. If I got you as a problem, then clearly things are looking pretty good. I can't complain, you know? <laughs> For example, I did 82 kilogram rows, damn, and drop set half the weight until I failed the rep. Oh, right, okay. Did 82 kilograms for 10, then 40 for 37 reps. That's really impressive. And he was like, this is absurd. Hey, you just, you're just killing it, man. What, what can what can I say? What can you say? You know. That's yeah. That's super good. That's amazing. Yeah, man's too strong for his own good now. He's now scaring his PT. He's going to become his PT's PT. Just from, you know, he's suffering from success, as it were.
You ever thought about becoming a PT cryo? That kind of ability. Thank you, thank you. I also hit a record body weight today. <gasps> what was it? That means you can open the pickle jar. Oh my god, pickle jars tremble at his presence. Surely. Uh, do the back here. No, that's too, too far for the back. Do that. Go on. Go on. Get it? There we go. Uh, nah, too much to study for that. That's fair. 103 kilograms. Damn. That is good. I'm proud of you too. I'm now officially lighter than I have been in over a year. Wow. That's such like that's such fantastic progress, Cryo. I, I hope you are feeling proud of yourself, because that's incredible work. You definitely should feel proud. line right yeah 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 there we go uh and if i hit under 100 which is looking like a two to three week time frame i'll be the lightest i've been in 12 years <gasps> that's incredible man that's so cool you got you gotta feel proud of that that's gotta be incredible Man, I'm so happy for you. That's awesome. That's like, that's such, it's almost like unimaginably awesome progress. You know? You know what I mean? It's like, it's mind blowing. It's so cool. I'm very, as you can, as you can hear, I'm very happy for you. That's so cool. And such a, like impressive numbers too. You're killing it, man. You're killing it. As someone who's on the drop herself, I'm happy for you. Ah, oh, so sweet. As someone who's just starting at the gym, I am inspired. It's been 30 minutes. I could have some water. Hey, that actually worked this time. I didn't edit the settings and it's somehow worked itself out. Thank you, Mix It Up. Do the sweat. Gotta do the sweat bubbles. I feel like I'm doing these like upside down <laughs> the way I normally would draw them. So my brain is not computing it in the way that it should. I'm just like, huh, sweat bubbles. That's not right. Uh, it's a slow and steady progress, but it's effective. My goal is, I think, 81.6 kilograms. I'm American, so pounds conversion. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Well, we appreciate that you did convert it because we. <laughs> we don't convert it. I mean, cryo probably could. Me, my brain just goes, my brain just flatlines whenever I see pounds. So thank you for accommodating for me. Google is my friend. Yes. Google is a dear friend to us all. Especially in that matter. In the conversion field. I'm gonna, that's almost done. Let me just resize it so that I can add like a little, little match, a uh, little fuse, not match. Uh, 2.2 .2 pounds per kilogram, so about 180. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Uh, 81.6 is a very respectable weight. I don't think I would be capable of that weight physically with your build. That's fair enough. Yeah, and it's one of those things learning about like positive health attitudes and things like that is that 
you know, some people's healthy weight is is heavier than what they expect it to be. And I would have never known that if I had just, you know, if I'd pursued getting healthy without, you know, proper support, I think, proper support and proper research. And it's, yeah, it's such a big thing, the mentality around around being healthy is also this big thing, isn't it? <laughs> this actually turned out to be a really nice drawing. I'm actually really happy with that. Uh, to be fair, I'm cutting weight, but I do think, but I do rank body composition over body weight. Yeah, yeah, and I think body composition is, is a big thing, like is hugely important, I think, and is a better way of looking at it than just pure body weight. Because so much goes into healthy weight, you know? Or healthy body. Not just weight. I'm no expert, but that's what I think. <laughs> that's pretty cute. That's a pretty cute little sketch. I may even refine it and then uh, make it a sticker. Because it's so cute. Uh, when I started working out, my body composition completely changed and everyone thought I lost a heap of weight, but it actually put on about five kilograms. Yeah, it's so fascinating how, how bodies do that, is that, like, just because you look healthy doesn't necessarily mean that you are healthy, and, you know, when you are healthy doesn't necessarily mean that you look as healthy. I mean, some of that doesn't go back and forth, but you know what I mean. I think about... You're about 130 kilograms right now, but I was worse when I moved here because I went from not sure when to eat to eating too much because of somewhere else uh, instance and I can't waste food. Uh, took a while to break that and many fights for over it. Yeah. Yeah, body comp is way more important than the number. Yeah. Yeah, and like, like you said, sometimes the situation that you're in can make being aware of your your health and weight more difficult but once you've kind of once you make that progress it's hard to stop so the best thing you can do is is start if you're feeling like you want to do more so good on you food problems a common issue for a lot of people yeah it is it's the nutrition thing isn't it Nutrition can be a hard thing to tackle at first. I hear it gets easier. I'm working on like meal prepping stuff myself and like right now it's hard. It's really complicated, but I know it will get easier. So I'm not so worried. That still feels a bit off. Like one of Ratchet's eyes seems just a little too big. So I'll just fix that. Too big and too low. Uh, I'm certainly no professional, but I like to think I'm fairly knowledgeable or at least logical about your eating and working out. Yeah, I believe that. From what you've told me and the advice you've given me, I feel like you are, you have been a very good resource and you've been very knowledgeable. And like, sure, if it's coming from me, it could just be the blind leading the blind, but I don't believe that. I have faith in Cryo. Cryo's a good bean. Uh, the charts want me below 102, but if I weighed more, weighed that little, I would have to lose all fat and some muscle. Yeah, that is a big, like, request, isn't it? Like, it's asking you to do a lot just for uh, mass index, which doesn't necessarily fit. Because I'm not the one buying the food, I'm dependent on others, but getting this tablet working for comms already got me in a good space to be able to afford your own stuff and being able to refuse others. Yeah, nice, three blind mice, yeah. We're all just the blind leading the blind. Leading the blind. But even then, we're all together and helping each other out. And ain't that just part of the battle? 
you don't necessarily need support, but sometimes a, a friendly, a kind word is great and really helpful. <laughs> or a dingus on the internet saying that you can do whatever you believe in because he believes in you. If that helps, just know I believe in you. Hello, <laughs> my dinguses, and back. Welcome back, Orpa. We're getting a little too wholesome there. <laughs> so glad, glad I've been reminded to steer it back to cursed. Uh, yeah, I'm sure a rule of thumb would say I'm fairly overweight for my height and age, but they don't take into account uh, muscle mass very well. Yeah, exactly. The BMI. BMI is really, like, not hugely, like, hugely tailored to different body types from what I've heard. I know personally, like due to my height, my BMI is like tells me I'm severely underweight, but it's because I'm lanky and tall. And that makes it hard to, you know, discern what a healthy weight for me would be with the BMI. I'm now the guy at, uh, at the who daps up like 50% of the people and just gym up. Yeah, people like gyms need people like cryo. To, to really like hype them up and so then people feel good about going to the gym and excited to go to the gym and stuff like that it's a big big important big important thing I thought you were a mouse how tall how are you tall um ugh. I stretch myself out I'm a really big mouse really tall mouse I'm three feet tall but BMI stands for body mouse index so for a mouse I'm quite tall <laughs> I think I saved that, guys. <laughs> Gonna get rid of this pebble size. Ooh. Pebble size index as well. I keep saying index because I've been saying BMI. I try to be positive gym culture we love. Yeah. Yeah, the gym culture. Like, you gotta bring that positive vibe to the gym. The guys at my nutrition, like, I have a nutrition warehouse near where I live, and the guys there are so, like, so, so nice, and so positive, and going in there as a skinny mouse, people, like, I fully expected them to be like, oh, this will kill you, mate, you don't need this, um, and then instead they're just like, oh, man, this is, this is the stuff you want, it'll really help you, you it's, it, like, you'll love it, you know, it's great, stuff like that, <laughs> and that's awesome, that's, just like that's half the battle just feeling supported enough to do stuff like that didn't you say you couldn't send me the winning lottery no tickets because you were too short yeah because i i am tall for a mouse but i buy from human stores like so i buy lottery tickets from or i would try to buy lottery tickets from human um stores <laughs> so i can't <laughs> they won't let me in because I'm too short. And stinky, apparently. They keep saying I'm stinky mouse. So I can't. They're not letting me buy lottery tickets because of that. Big mouse energy. Big mouse energy. Like, like small dog syndrome. Um, I think I'm bigger than I am. And I'm really aggressive to other mice. Gonna give this, yeah, it's got a bit of an incline in the panel, but I like that for this one. Just a touch, just a touch. Touch incline, it's good. I get a goofy little ratchet face. Goofy, slightly different little ratchet face. Where his, his eyebrows, his non-visible eyebrows have come down. 
They're really crooked though. So. I'm gonna. I know. I know the draft has shown him with little pupils, but I'm gonna give him the big ones just to let people know that he's not actually angry. Just goofing about. He's just being a goofy little guy. See the little guy. As is his want. <laughs> is that it? Yeah, that's better. That's better. Let's do a big arch. There we go. In a curve. This is a goofy little guy, goofy little goblin, as most goblins dream of being. How's this gonna look when I'm finished? Will it look good? Will it look bad? It'll probably look fine, but my brain just being like, oh, this is gonna look weird. Such a weirdly specific angle for Ratchet's head to be at. It's all fun and games until you draw your OC at an angle you're not used to. Gray, I can't remember what your gym goals were. Um. It's just, I think I just need to, I just want to be a little bit stronger. I just want to be a little bit taller, a little bit baller. If I want to be like, if there was a girl that looked good, I would call her. I don't know that song. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just want to just be a little bit stronger. Physically, and also just healthier as well. Because I feel like I'm kinda healthy, but I could be healthier. You son of a bitch. <laughs> I wish I was a little bit... I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I, wish, I don't know that next bit. I, I know it's like, if there was a girl that looked good, I would call her. That bit. Farewell. If you don't mind my two cents. Of course. Of course. I will take your two cents. I will take all the good advice. Uh, the little bits, the little bitties, as a being a <laughs> dingus. That's, uh, so if he was doing that, his head would come down like that. Doing my every so often little muttering as I try and figure out the best look for the next few lines. Give him a neck, because he has a neck, because he's humanoid. The base knowledge I have is two cents worth. <laughs> nice. You should have 1.2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. Okay. That's really good. That, that is a really good metric to know. Because like, that I can do. Yeah. The ear goes down to the bottom of the chin. Okay, 1.2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. All right, I do not know how much I weigh. That really is telling that I'm not 
done anything like that in a while. Uh, and if you're wanting to add muscle slash strength, you should probably hit like 3,500 calories a day. That will help add mass quickly. That makes sense. 3,500 calories a day. I think I can do that. That I can do. And the more food, the more muscle. That's definitely true. <laughs> That's really good to know. I... <laughs> It's going to go to show like how shocking, or not shocking, but unsurprising, I guess, as well. It is, based on how skinny I am. Sometimes I wouldn't have lunches. So one of the big things I was doing before I even hit the gym is that I actually make a routine of having lunch. Um, 3,500 isn't too difficult, but it is a lot of food. Okay. I do trust that. Or you eat a lot of bread. I can do that. I can eat a lot of bread. I can eat bread. Tell you what. <laughs> Say less. You're going to have to eat some bread. Eat, like, a fair amount of bread. Oh, man. <laughs> well ahead of you. Uh, I'd say, I don't know. Suggest chicken burgers? Chicken burger. That makes sense. I do have, ever since we've been talking about it, I did get chicken nuggets. So I've been practicing, practicing for packs. But I do have chicken nuggets, so I'll get chicken burgers as well. Hey, if, if the big man says it's, says it's the way, then it's the way. I trust it. <laughs> chicken pasta. <gasps> Great source of protein and carbs. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I love it. I mean, you had me at chicken. No, you had me at bread, let's be honest. Like chicken alfredo. Okay, chicken, yeah, chicken pasta. I can do a chicken pasta. I love a chicken pasta, actually. What's the consensus on mushrooms, uh, cryo? And I don't mean like magic mushrooms, I mean just like button mushrooms. Because I love them. Do I add them? <laughs> Can I keep adding them to my meals? No, you gotta cut them. <gasps> no. <laughs> my secret to gaining weight is just eat when you are depressed, however, I do not recommend it. That's, that is fair. I feel like I might overeat. I might overindulge if I eat every time I'm feeling depressed. Too real? <laughs> Sorry. Mushrooms are great. I agree. I love mushrooms. I love mushrooms personally, but they are basically just a veg. Nothing super special about them. Fair enough. Fair enough. And good to know. Good to include, but as a side. You know, not, not the, like, the main part of the meal, which would be chicken. But if you're starting struggling to hit your protein, start eating kangaroo. Ah, okay. Wait, that implies you're not depressed sometimes. No need to brag. <laughs> I mean, sometimes, some sometimes I hit a, a whimsical stride. I'll admit, I have my moments. I do bring a sort of whimsical en energy to <laughs> depression. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> <laughs> bring a sort of vibe to depression decided to walk every time I'm horny and went from 5k's to 27 steps a day that's pretty that's pretty impre uh, 27k steps a day 27 steps a day is woefully under the normal amount 27k's very impressive the benefits of being horny I assume I can't do that. I'd be gone for days. That can't be part of my routine. I'd just be gone. I would just leave. Anyway, I gotta go for a walk. <laughs> Sounds about right. One of the benefits. <laughs> I would just 
I would be like gone for weeks. And then how do I explain it to my work? Where were you, Grey Mass? You were gone for like a month, and I was like, I can't explain. There's no way. There's no way you'd take me seriously. You wouldn't believe me if I told you. <laughs> One day I just started walking. It's been 84 years. I never returned home. And I just started running that day. And I just kept running. Didn't stop. Guess I've been running ever since. It's hard to explain. I'll be back. I need to go for a quick walk. <laughs> Ooh, I need to. I'll be back. It's very hard for me to explain. Ooh, it's that time again. I gotta go. <laughs> Walk off. Gotta go clear my head. Nice big head clearing walk. Has just like abandoned everything he owns. He's just he's he's on milk cartons. We haven't seen him in months, and then I just come walk walking back into the office, and I'm just like, hey guys, are you back? Where were you? I was just going for a walk. Gotta go drain my thoughts. Oh my god. <laughs> Gotta go. Um... clearer banks, so to speak. <laughs> gotta go talk myself. Uh, gotta go and... Uh running out of excuses it's been years since i've since i started doing this just gotta go jack it <laughs> i mean tug i mean uh tug i mean uh gotta go i mean uh, uh. <laughs> my brain is addled <laughs> i must leave <laughs> must leave this place Could have go jerk it. I mean, jerk it. I mean, um. <laughs> walk. <laughs> yeah, mate, just take a walk. It's fine. <laughs> Need to go look at scenery. <laughs> Need to be far away from people right now. I can't do it. I can't, I can't be in the same space as other people. <laughs> I need to go away for a long time. <laughs> Some sort of transatlantic voyage. Anything, just get me away. Need to go charm my snake. Is that gonna be too long? His arm is a little bit weird, I'll admit. <laughs> Sorry, I can't be near warm flesh right now, yeah. A slight breeze will send me over the edge. I need to go. Any kind of breeze. If it's a warm breeze, then Jesus Christ, batten down the hatches. 
I cannot be held responsible for things like that. It's like werewolfism. Lycanthropy. If anything happens to other people, I can't be held responsible. I just gotta go. I just gotta disappear. It's safer for everyone. at hand. Yeah. <laughs> Just a hilarious little crouching ratchet. That's too thin of a blade. That's too thick of a blade. That's just about right of a blade. That's good. Yeah. There we go. He needs a second dagger. He needs an Atohu. There's plenty still left to do. On this one. Gotta draw a belt. Gotta draw a hammer. Hammer. But not much of a hammer because you can't see a lot of it anyway. It's great. I'll draw wings. Just like what they did with uh, Trevor Belmont's uh, whip chain whip in Castlevania. I'm just hiding. Hiding the more detailed things that I need to draw uh, on Ratchet's uh, form. It's a very small V. He needs to be slightly bigger. Before we know it, it's gone all out, drawn at a tohu entirely, like, again, drawn his full form, there you go, now oh, he's so cute, look at little ratchet, what a sweet little bean, what a goofy little guy, kind of dream of, you know, replicating his his energy just a silly little guy you know just want to be a silly little guy that's my tr that's my gym goal is to just be a silly little guy i take it take back what i said before uh my gym goal is to be just a silly little guy <laughs> that's it nothing more and absolutely nothing less I will not settle for less. That's a very floppy shoe.
Sorry, I can't help you. My special speciality lay lays in being a bombastic big boy. Oh shit. Well, I'm gonna have to find a PT for becoming a silly little guy then. I guess, hey, but what could, what, you know, what can I do? You know, the gym brings all sorts of people together, right? What am I doing <laughs> with this boot? It looks wrong. <laughs> Just looks not right. Let me get the shape done and out there. Okay, cool. It didn't look right, but now it looks fine. Because I wasn't doing... That stupid thing I was doing before. Nice. And we just give it a little bit more space. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. You know, see the little guys and bombastic big boys make for the best gym partners. I know. I wish, you know, for that reason alone, I wish I lived in Melbourne so that I could, we could just be gym partners and work, work out all the time. It'd be great. Sadly not that. Day after the nugget challenge, we'll go, to, we'll gym, we'll gym together. Bring it up into a little bit. Yeah, just bring it tighter to the end. Nice, as a shoe should be, surely. I don't know, I'm not a cobbler. I don't make shoes professionally. And I certainly am not going to begin doing so. As you could see from my boots. There we go. There we go. So, a little weird. They almost seem a little disjointed. Maybe it's because they're just a bit too small. Yeah, because Ratchet doesn't have, like, a normal anatomy. It's always kind of just, like, figuring, like, a, a guessing game or figuring things out about what would work for his anatomy. You know, what kind of... <laughs> how does he bend? How does he... Oop, how does he move? You know, that kind of stuff is a little bit of a guessing game sometimes I'll show you I'll actually show you one of the next uh, drafts like next page of the draft but we got little bits like this where <laughs> he uh, <laughs> he's doing a little bit more than just standing about you know also yes this is a super detailed like series of drafts but I like, I like that style because it's rough. It's a rough draft, but it looks fun. So I'm keen on, I'm keen on doing this drafting style going forward. It's also really quick for me to do. Whereas before I was a little too heavily focused on just getting it like clean, even though it's a draft, which is very weird. A weird and unnecessary thing. I can make it clean in this part. Or cleaner. I also am not a huge fan of the clean art style. And I mean for myself. Other people do it beautifully. And I got no qualms with them. <laughs> not an enemy of them. But. I'm actually going to center Ratchet. 
Oh, that looks so weird. I no longer need the draft. It's gonna give me, a, gonna make me lose my mind. I mean, that's cute. The knife edge ear. That's cute. That's cute. Ratchet already has ear styles though, so we don't, <laughs> we ain't bothered with them. Um, so I should give him a horizon line. But kind of in the same way I've got a horizon line there, it doesn't really hugely matter, just need a few little things and then we should be okay. Actually, I could give him, like, put a big tree root in front of him. Because I can do whatever I want now. I'm free. I'm free! Free to draw whatever, because it's a montage. He's passing things quickly. So I could draw whatever. I'm totally free to do as I wish. That freedom is big. I'm gonna do this because it implies that Ratchet is like one of the few people who can get through this space. But that's a cool idea. I don't need anything complicated, really. I think I'm. dwelling too much in the nitty-gritty of it. Do I make it lower? I don't know. Bring it back, because I need to get him to get closer and closer in these next panels, so it's not as important. to draw him big. He can be big at other points. Big and tall. Finding my horizon line. There we go. And I know I got some really good advice about drawing horizon, not horizons, but landscapes and stuff. And I should take it, you know, that basically just make something in Photoshop and take from, draw from actual pictures. And I don't want to trace because I really dislike, uh, I really dislike tracing. as an assistant to art forms. However, if it helps in situations where I need to draw landscapes and stuff, maybe I can come around to it. Dunno, we'll see, we'll see. Actually, I could draw more of those trees that I really like. The boldest ones. So what I do with these ones is that I draw big, just circles. They're cool. I like them a lot. And then I decide which ones are in front, which one's behind. This one can be like that. There we go. And 
and it's, it's essentially just a Y, and then down. And they're not like very difficult trees to draw. The the complexity and the fun in the way that they look comes in the the pattern. that it's essentially like a three-pronged fingers. And really, the best bit about them is, is their pattern. I like the pattern a lot. So there we go. How's that gonna look in the end run? Should look good. Should look good. I'm sure it will look good. Because it's these ones, these ones back here. And I do like them a lot. They're almost like they almost have like chicken's feet for branches, which is cool. Gonna try spreading these chicken's feet out a little bit. That should do it. Yeah, it's one of like the, not drawbacks, but like one of the interesting things about drawing a long form comic is that like, one thing I immediately started to have to like think about was like uh, if I'm in different like biomes and territories and stuff in the world they're gonna have like different trees they're gonna have different flora and fauna and so then I'm just like oh god what do I, what do I do what do I do in regards to like different like country trees and countryside trees and trees in different countries and things like that. Do I have redwoods for everything? No, that's boring. The carnival at the very, in the very first chapter, there are a bunch of firs, like fir trees. I can't just repeat that for every single tree in every single land going forward. These are the things I worry about, guys. Most people, most people don't give a shit, surely. Most people are not bothered. Me, I am. <laughs> me, it bothers me. That looks terrible. The curve ain't right. It has to, at the very least, curve outwards. It shouldn't curve a lot, but it should, at the very least, curve outwards. Those other ones that I've drawn, they're just, yeah, they just curve, curve ever so slightly, but they go in thin and come out thick. Like me and Cryo at the gym, go in thin, come out thick. Yeah, 
do that. That's better. Because that actually shows what's behind, what's in front. Even if sli only slightly. It's just a little wedge. It works. There we go. Again, it's another situation where I'm just putting a ton of effort into something that isn't hugely gonna matter. with the sounds of uncertainty. This is Grey Mouse Inc. lulling you to sleep with the sounds of uncertainty. I'm not convinced is the thing. I'm just not convinced. Do I just move it? Even if I move it up, I'm just like delaying an inevitable mental battle. Hmm. Yeah. Not sure. Just keep going, just chip away. Draw away to my heart's content. Figure out the rest as I go. I was worried that my model will like cover the art, and it does do that sometimes. So I might alter some things so that I actually have space for it all. There we go. Slightly too bold this, just I'm essentially drawing clouds in these spaces. 
the trees, but it's the same sort of process. To just draw away. Just fill the space. Weird. Nope. Uh, that, that I can live with. And I can draw faint tree lines in there. And there we go, got myself a nice little background. Took a little bit, but I got there in the end. And that's all that matters. It may take a moment, but eventually it all comes together. Give this a bit more bulb, bulbiness, there we go, a little bit more of an irregular shape which is important. just for fun. Just gonna throw down an old abandoned fort. Just to give this spot a little bit of set dressing. Actually, ooh, or actually, a little church, a little just abandoned church, to show that maybe they tried to set up a little colony, and it just didn't work out, because Katiyanki's uh, landscape is just too harsh for things that weren't built in the way that the the cat eye design them i like that idea actually that's cool a little bit of subtle world store like world building and visual storytelling enough background to fill in because again getting very overzealous very overzealous with the background but I love doing that as well I love getting too into it though I will admit honestly I should have drafted that drafted it though drafted the background, I knew I was going to add a background of some form.
works worst. Let's do that. Do the fort. But yeah, I'm going to start thinking of things so I can just add in to the background. That'll be nice little world building. Yeah, that's cool. It's cool. I'm gonna have a sip of water. But I'll take a look at I'll keep looking at that for a bit. Yeah. Done a lot with the background. Is it necessary? Yeah. Debatable. Is it cool? Undoubtedly. Is there a possibility that's going to be a Pain in the ass? Undoubtedly. There are many, many trees here. And they may not all have connected lines. It's a very rough approximation. Hey, Smiley, how you doing? Posture check, thank you so much for that. I was starting to prawn a bit. I might just take it as an opportunity to stretch as well. How are you doing? How are you? Ah. I hope you were well. Just ended work. Hey, nice. Is it a long, busy day? Sure it was. But I do want to ask anyhow. <laughs> Very productive, I assume. This 
is pretty a pretty rough color work, but I'll fix fix it when I get closer. Sky, sky is always the same color. Gonna make it slightly more blue, just because I know that I did that with uh, it has a filter over it, just a bit of light filter over it. Uh, some close shaves in class, but turned out fine in the end. Hey, that's always good. I'm very glad to hear that. Nothing too big to worry about. That's always, always very good to hear. And all in all, it was good. No visible socks there, so that's fine. And uh, this, this. correct thing yeah just we're just chilling out with some very simple uh, panels tonight so feel free to unwind chill out because it's a real good night for it or morning for it depending on what time zone you are in also Ratchet doesn't have teeth but that's okay fixable. It's a fixable thing. This one might take a little bit of work just because there are so many like little details in this that it may take just a bit of time to smooth it all out and make sure there aren't too many little white dots, which I dislike seeing. It's 5 p.m. over there. I suspect it's 6 p.m. on our side. It's yeah, it's that's pretty you were pretty close. Uh, seven. It's about 730. Ooh, wrong color. Yeah. So the day, the day has wound down. I just had a bunch of meetings, got a new set of headphones, which are great, and I've talked to death about them. But they're really good, and usually at around, oh yeah, almost two hours, usually around this time uh, in the night, they would start, like my ears would start to feel a bit sore, and they're not, so they're, I'm already getting my money's worth out of them which is amazing. Is that gonna be correct? Yeah. Uh, oh, 7.30, yeah, yeah. But you were pretty close, so no, no issues there. Um, but yeah, like, it's been a fairly chill day trying my best to kind of wean out uh, coffee or my coffee consumption just a little bit um, and today I had like two cups of coffee which is very good for me still not great um, but yeah 
trying to also not be it's a whole double-edged sword kind of thing but i'm trying to be less lethargic while also drinking less coffee feel it's like that's a losing battle but time will tell some really delicate operations right now. Hyper focused, sorry gang. But I'm back. Yeah, cool. It'll be little things to iron out and then also all of Ratchet's uh, colors. Because I get so focused on, you know, the little things that I forget that, oh yeah, Ratchet is a whole character and he does not have an ounce of colour on him yet. Usually for you, if I need stimulants to stay awake, I, sh I probably should sleep. Yeah, yeah, and I, I fully get that. I find that I'm a very drowsy person. Uh, and I used the term lethargic before, but yeah, it's like I'm always quite low energy. And it's not for any particular reason, I'm just very... Yeah, just very low energy, and then as a result, I do feel like I'm falling asleep a lot. Uh, it's not been a big problem for these streams or streaming, but I would like to have a little bit more energy just so that I'm not, like, I don't sound bored. Because I'm not bored. I just sound it. I just sound bored. I think I should just talk about talk more about things that I'm passionate about because I rambled about these headphones for the first like 30 minutes of the stream. I got a few like stray lines in these comics right now. To me, like, some of these line, some of this line work is just yucky. Yucky. Yeah, some of it's just yucky. Yeah, just. It just lacks, lacks refinement. It looks just a bit rough. I say that as if I can't fix it, you know? I can't just iron it out later, yakking. Would you would make you drink one, but I'm almost at a hundred k. Hey, fair enough. You want that big hundred k prize? I respect it. Thank you for reminding me, though. I need to go pick up some more yaki. Holy heck, I love that stuff. It's delicious and so probiotic. Of nothing. I'll add a. I'll add a hundred k redeem. What do you want? What do you want? You want me to cure cancer? <laughs> what? What would constitute a hundred k uh, redeem? Hundred k like channel point. I guess just. I guess I could just give you something. All expenses paid trip to Australia would be nice. I'm not paying for a fucking trip to Australia. <laughs> I mean, that's a great reward, sure. But, holy crap. Can I make just a secret piece of... 
uh, merch and then that can be it and that can be the reward secret yeah I'm gonna do that secret piece of merch at 100k I won't tell you what it is you'll never see it on the store but if you reach 100k um, and then spend it on this redeem you get like a piece of merch that I haven't talked about but is good <laughs> you gotta just take my word for it that it's good alright guys because it will be, it'll be fantastic, it'll be amazing be the coolest thing y'all have ever seen on the grey mouse store a mug that says 100k, that's pretty good that's pretty good I don't mind that I'll make you a pump cover, like t-shirt that says um, skate fast eat ass or something like that <laughs> make yeah make gym equipment like gear and clothing for people who want to go to the gym but also watch grey mass lean beef patty take the wheel you know that sort of thing I'd actually do that, like, gym equipment that's just goofy. Like that t-shirt that says, don't bully me, I'll... <laughs> you know the rest. You all know the rest. I don't need to say it. Not with TOS breathing down my neck. Watch time? No, nope. I don't gotta watch time. You can't expect big things from me. <laughs> I'm Grey Mouse. We slowly make our way to something good. Oh, follow it, yeah. One year, two months, 17 days. Well, at least that one works. That one does work. Don't have the watch one. At least not yet. Every time I learn of something that I need, I add it eventually. It eventually finds its way to the stream. Uh, I would buy a tank top pump cover that is an overly muscular mouse listing barbell, <laughs> lifting a barbell, his cheese wedges on the end. That'd be cool. I'd love to have just a like a pump cover that would make like the gym bros like laugh that's all I need get on it like make a really good first impression you know with the gym bros that's what I want uh, pump cover is a wife beater got it yeah well a, a pump cover is kind of like just a, a big baggy shirt Is that right, Creo? <laughs> Pump cover, big baggy shirt. And it doesn't necessarily have to be that, but because I got gym on the mind, I got gymming on the mind. <laughs> yeah, pump cover is just like a shorts that's. Uh, a shirt that's three sizes too large. Yeah. Covers up your your gains so that people don't know if you're like 
super muscular or not. And then you, you get them with a big surprise. Boom. Break out the muscles. Shirt. Yeah. No cryo said tank top, so I thought that was what it was. Yeah. It's gym equipment. Like, the gym gear is... It varies on people's comfort, I think. It's like a tank top or a pump cover. One or the other. I'm definitely doing pump cover because I want to hide my... Hide my form. Ooh, hide my form for as, mu as long as I can. Then pow, surprise. It's a singular muscle. That's fair, I meant I would wear a shirt or tank top. I've been going for more large shirts. It's gym apparel. Yeah. And like... I now have an uh, electric cool boy pump cover. That's cool. Sorry, I just pressed my foot up against a wall and I felt like texture, so I was worried I'd kicked the power button. I mean, I know straight away because my computer would have turned off, but like, you can never be too safe. <gasps> felt texture under my foot, so I knew something was wrong. It wasn't those jelly beans I dropped under, under my desk. Eight months ago. I do, I definitely need to get just a, a shirt that says gym rat because then if I ever meet people who watch my content then they'll know they'll be like wait a second that's grey mouse and I'll be like hi I'm a weak little boy little mouse please help me please spare me a crumb of that creatine that sweet sweet creatine I want, I've wondered, as a mouse, do you have to special order everything, or is there just a part of Ikea I don't know about? Of course. There's a subsection of Ikea, which is for mice. Uh, or if you're feeling, you know, if you're feeling nasty, then you go to the, the dollhouse section, and then you get stuff there. But that stuff is rarely tailored. So for me, personally... I like, I like the deep, the, the underground, you know, as we call it, where you can get your, your mouse goods, mouse goods and housewares, you know, all for a nice affordable price. Uh, I now want to make my own cryo pump cover with a large back image. Yeah, do it. Do it, why not? Then people who know your content will be able to recognize you. I mean, I'm sure they would be able to recognize you anyway, because you, you do webcam and stuff. <laughs> so your face is more easily identifiable. Mine, I don't... Don't want to spoil it for you guys, but I actually don't look a lot, don't look very similar to my image. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of little specks to clean up. It's a bit annoying. I actually think this brush is just a little bit 
imperfect in that it has a lot of overhang. Uh, I also have two of my own shirts I wear to the gym a lot. Nice. Very cool. I've been lied to. Where's the refund button? <gasps> It'll be a big refund. For you, Logie. Don't... <laughs> You'd bankrupt me. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? <laughs> just, just a, Just a shirt that says, this isn't my real face, and it's got my gray mouse face on it. Big smile, he's just like, oh! <laughs> this is not my true identity. We'll admit that I've gotten very used to referring to myself as gray. I actually don't mind it as a name as well. Like gray, just as a general name. False advertising, I thought I was supporting a sentient mouse this whole time. Well, I am a sentient mouse, but I just look like a different mouse. That's all. Whew, saved it. <laughs> uh, have an idea, but you don't have the skills. You may need to commission me. I got commission spots. I got commission slots open on my coffee. I may need to special like specify the commission slots just so that it actually accommodates to people's ideas and stuff because currently it's just like you know bust full body things like that which isn't very specific or isn't you know very broad for what other people want i could just add design design idea and then you let me know and i charge you accordingly i guess i don't know <laughs> knife chicken knife I swear I swear I'm a mouse <laughs> just just draw busts busty busts I do do that yeah it's fun it's fun to draw busty busts I mean yeah, when I'm doing like concept art and stuff, I just draw busts of the characters, because after a certain point, I get bored. I get bored of drawing, so I just need to bugger off and finish the art. So I just draw, yeah, the bust of it. As if they were a, you know, statue. <laughs> and if I'm drawing... No, I'm not going to say that. If I'm drawing female portraits, then I just draw the boobs, and then I'm I'm good. I'm good. I don't really want to keep drawing at that point. <laughs> it's not true, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> or do. I don't know. <laughs> do whatever you want. I ain't your mum. <laughs> Scam. Well, thankfully, I already have some reference. If images. Oh, yeah. That shouldn't be, that wouldn't be too hard to do. I think, oh, when it comes down to it, I think the thing I always, like, say is that you got to consider time, because I'm uh, f fairly bad with time. I guess that's always just the main concern, I guess, I guess for me, is that I always feel like I don't have a lot of time. For commissions and stuff but yeah but I have a specific idea in mind yeah that's no problem it's moaning is it moaning yeah it is moaning my favorite my favorite bean moany bean okay that's good can move to shadows This is like making my work harder for me by adding just a bunch of stuff.
I should actually make an animation that's for brain loading. Because honestly, it would be fitting for my streams. The amount of times that I'm just like trying to think. And I'm just sitting there silently. <laughs> it would work, it would fit. Thank you so much for that, Loki. That's a new one. I didn't even get to read it. Uh, <laughs> that is a new one. I just looked over at my... At my... Mix it up. Yeah, that is very new. <laughs> it's not Christmas anymore. Asshole. Get out of here. Get out of here, you son of a bitch. Unprawn. Yes, I do actually need to unprawn. Nope, shit. There we go. Had to just mute and reread it a few times before I banned because it was so different. Yeah, didn't want to ban someone pretending to be a bot slash troll. Yeah, that's true. If we did that, we would, we would never see, um, Zombie Slayer. Zombie Slayer would have been gone a long time ago, I think, if we just banned people that sound like bots. It's almost happened so many times. The amount of mods who have been like, yeah, I almost banned you because you sound like a bot. Because <laughs> I thought you would be a bot. <laughs> what a fucking dude. Love him to bits, but what a fucking guy. <laughs> If we banned all trolls, you wouldn't be allowed on Twitch now. Yeah, true. They would have gone after you ages ago. If we just banned all all people who engaged in some harmless troll trolling. And I would be banned too. Just the amount of trolling I do with Moni Stara. And, uh... Yeah. And Moni Stara, just very specifically. Be banned because of bullying. And that really does give it shape, which is cool. We got cool. Uh, I like trolls while it's unsportsmanlike. Sometimes it's fun to have a battle of wits with an unarmed opponent. Yeah. I mean, you are not wrong there. It's always nice to just get a little bit of a one-up on a bloody troll. Love that unarmed opponent. Okay, and now for the complicated bit. Gotta wedge Ratchet's chest a bit so that it looks like he's bending down. I differentiate between trolls and trolling. Trolls are low effort trolling 
Take some thought or novelty. I like penis. Yeah. See, that would fall under troll. Speaking of troll, yeah, exactly. You get it. <laughs> There's my two mods as well. We can got my phone. Oh, yeah, okay, that makes sense then. That tracks. That sounds like a wiki thing to do. that much Whoa. spooked me I got an ad coming up I like that noise something about it just tickles me tickles my brain Tickles my little mouse brain with the dopamine. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Gasping for really no reason other than. I accidentally copied something. It was not even that bad. In college, there was a group of us who would use anonymous phone numbers and call into radio stations trying to get them to refer to us by weird names calling us Captain Crunch was the default one. Yeah, that's good. That's just harmless fun. That one's fine. It is like, you know, a college kind of... It's just a college thing to do, you yeah? know? To, to make fun of the radio station, the local radio station. We saw it in Killer Frequency. Oh, radio stations all over the country, not local ones. Well, then that's just smart, you know? Escaping, <laughs> getting caught. Avoiding the consequences of your own actions. It's, cl it's, it's clever. I was thinking clever and smart. It's clot. Dave is doing some Monster Hunt tonight, so I will be leaving soon. Fair enough, fair enough. I don't know if I'll be on for much longer, so I might raid out in a little bit. So that's totally all good with me. I want to get a little bit more done, but... Also, I've got work tomorrow, so... I don't want to overdo it. Either. I've also just started this five five night streaming um, schedule and I've been pretty loyal to it but I also don't want to do too much too soon because yeah the three three art streams a week is really like I'm really happy with because that means that I'm gonna get this comic moving like really moving and I'm really happy about that and then I also get two nights to play games to play VG games which is awesome 
Uh, don't want to work like an American. Yeah, exactly. Want to keep things, you know, simple, but good. Because I, I want streaming to be a part of my, like, routine. Where it stops feeling like work, it starts feeling like just a thing. Thing that I just do in the evenings. Um, it's not going to go beyond five, five nights, though, of course. It's going to only be five nights. That's, like, the max. But I kind of like the idea of it just being really normal for me to do five nights a week. Gym in the morning, five nights streaming. So then I get a lot done on my comic. And then work, <laughs> work from home, which is, I'm very lucky to have that option. But there, yeah. Yeah. I do actually like that the the headphone company actually like responded to my story. I didn't expect that. Like I didn't really post it expecting a response. I posted it cuz I got jelly beans in my in my order. <laughs> and I just thought that was weird. Funny, but very weird. Also another thing I've done, the thing I started doing is that I, for me, I just turned off the uh, viewer number, like numbers of viewers, and I think that's really helped, because that's not what it's about for me, but I did find it was like, not disheartening, but it does affect the way that you present on, on this site, if you're like concerned about how many people are watching and how many people uh, watching at any given time, and that can really affect you. Lumen! Hey, how you doing? It's just chatting about how I've turned off my um, view account, so I have no idea how many people are watching at any given time, and I find that just easier. Speaking of people watching, exactly. Speaking of people watching, we got the most important sort watching right now as we speak co-host of the Lumen show it's Lumen I do the same yeah it is like this is my first stream with it off and I gotta say I don't think I'll ever turn it back on it's just so much better all the funny the funny little number gives you anxiety yeah same only realizing it now though of course but like I'm so glad I've turned it off because I feel so much better just chilling out and rambling being my true self a rambling dingus, as it were. Whoa, fellow Nug brother. Yes, the Nug boys. It's us. <laughs> it's us. The Nug boys assemble. I'm just getting so excited. I can't believe that's in. That'll be in October. But already hyped. We cannot forget that we have a Nug packed for October. I've been practicing, I've just been eating a shit ton of nuggets. Sup nug bro. I feel like every time I say that I'm skirting dangerous territory. I don't know why. Wrong thing. It's too much shadow. Just a touch of shadow. I am 
excited for Nuggets at the end of the year. Near the end of the year. It's a nice little reward. Because I've also gone back to my not eating McDonald's again, now that, now that I'm back in uh, Adelaide. My given rule, eating healthy. Slightly healthier, you know, as it were. Yeah, because you're saving all the nug love for October. Exactly. I, I am going to vow not to eat a McDonald's nugget until October when PAX comes around. Y'all are in Australia and want to either A, meet me, Lumen, or Cryo, or B, see, an, see us eat a shit ton of nuggets. PAX is, PAX is your time, baby. Don't make promises you can't keep. I think I can keep that promise. And staying away from McDonald's is anyway. So I can stay away from McDonald's nugs if, if I'm doing that. Any other situation? Probably not. Because I'm very bad at keeping promises, usually. But if it's for something important, like a nugget pact, I feel like I can do that. I do also love that, like, PAX will be, like, the first time I'm meeting, you know, certain streamers that I've never met before. I mean, it'll be, like, maybe it'll be the first time I meet Cryo. We don't know how the year will pan out. Now, in person. But I'm also meet I hope I'm meeting people, like, Organized Chaos and stuff like that. Um, but also, like, the big, like, looming... Uh, aspect of of um packs for me is the hundred nuggets the just the nuggets as well which i hugely love that that's just a part of it now is just that oh yeah i'm going to packs to go and see some video games hand out some stickers meet some streamers that i've never met before hang out with streamers that i have met before but also i'm eating a ton of nuggets as well that's also a thing that's happening, yeah. <laughs> and I think that's hilarious. And I, I expect no different from just the the company I keep. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to promise to finish this panel but I want to finish this panel as well because then it'll mean that I've finished a, a panel for every single day I've streamed which would be good we'll see I've, got, I've still got time left still got a bit of time I think I can make it work operative word being think Yeah. I love talking about it. It's like, but I am super excited about PAX. Even though it's ages away. Definitely, I'm probably not going to get a content creator's badge. I don't think I'm going to be notorious enough to, to apply. But I'm keen to go all the same. I almost touched my tablet like it was a touchpad. <laughs> Too used to procreate already. Uh, I get an average of four viewers. I'm going to see if I can get the badge, go for the fun of it. Yeah, you're right. I'll give it a shot. And if I tell people I'm going for the creator badge, <laughs> maybe people will just be like, yeah, I'll check out this guy's streams. Oh, he's, he streams cursed art and shit, and he talks about shitting himself constantly. 
This is up my alley. This seems like my kind of content. And hey, that's the best reward. <laughs> People who decide to tolerate me. Do you think if I started like a campaign with packs or I was just like, get gray a camp, uh, creator's badge, do you think they'd fall into the hype and then, then they'd be like, oh shit, what did we sign up for? This guy's weird. And I'm like, yeah, you got the aspirin. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, you got any orange juice packs? I am a creator after all. That's what the badge is for, right? <laughs> there will be riots. There will be riots. Get Grey Mouse verified. Am I a creator? We will find out. <laughs> You'll hear it here first. Come on, Pax, you don't want me selling bootleg Grey Mouse merch at the front of the build the convention center. We all know we don't want that, so just let me in. Just let me in. Just do it. I don't know how I feel about those, but meh. I'll come back to them. I'll come back to it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna write a whole sob story to get them to hear me. I'm like, please, Pax. I broke my leg on the plane right over here and I sold it for Pax tickets. Please let me be a creator. Got him. Pax, I'm gonna eat a hundred nuggets in Melbourne. It's my first time in Melbourne and I'm gonna eat a hundred nuggets. Let me be a creator. And they're like, we're actually banning you from the convention center. And McDonald's. We've told McDonald's ahead of time. If they see your face. Do you think a bribe of 100, 100 nuggets would let them in? Do you think... Actually, that's not a bad idea. Any leftover nuggets that we have, I'm just going to put in a big Tupperware. And I'm going to be like, hey, Pax. So I know you didn't give me the creator badge when I when I'd applied for it, but I got nuggets now. Can I get a creator badge now? How about that? I got nuggies. They are cold, yes, but they are also nuggets. So beggars can't be choosers, and I am be and I am begging. I think that'll work on them. I think they're susceptible to that. Everybody loves a nugget. Should work. That should work. Magic wand. 
little bit of shade for this tree. Magic wand for this rock. A little bit of shade for said rock. Nice. to do just some more shadows on the ground and then it'll be shadows of the trees behind everything so just to fill out that background space and then it'll be highlights so not too much left to do on this oh and then light there's a little bit left to do on this. That's fine. That's okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. And then I change it to a blue, blue shad shaded light. And then I just throw some mucky trees into the space. and lazy looking trees bippity boppity boo it looks like a tree whoa amazing Just pushing it forward every so, every few bits. Just so that it looks just a little bit deep. Just a little deep. Not too deep though. <laughs> there you go. Tiny little blip that we see. Don't worry gang, that blip is actually intentional. It's because there is somebody else on the road. Whoa! I love that I said that really nonchalantly, but truthfully, yeah, there probably would be someone on the road. It's, it's, it's a road to be walked. Katyanki is not hugely populated, but it is populated. So there would be people. <laughs> Whoa, nice tree. Thank you, Cryo. It's so hard to see in this panel, but a little person. Who could that be? Who could that be, I wonder? It's a cowboy. Just off in the distance. It's a little cowboy. Yeehaw. We love to see it. <laughs> Wait a second, isn't this a fantasy? You're introducing cowboys? Yeah. Yeah, mate. Yeah, blood. Oh, sorry, just cracking my knuckles and stuff. That probably sounds very unpleasant. 
on to details. Maybe we will finish this panel tonight. Maybe it can be done. How much time do I have? I have 30 minutes. That's a doable amount of time. That's the kind of amount of time that people achieve things in. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. It's a very squiggly line. It looks like Ratchet's leg is kind of weirdly crippled. Yeah, just curve it like that. Just a little bit. That's fine. And one of my not resolutions but plans for next year not this year but next year is that i actually would act would be keen to see if i could get uh, a stand at a convention because i'd be curious to at the very least give it a give it a red hot go i remember when i tricked fire giggles into thinking that i was actually going to have a stand at Packs two years ago. And I'm like, no, absolutely not. Like, I didn't even have a Twitch stream last, like, no, not last year, year before last. No way am I getting a, a stand. Seems super brazen. Yeah. I think I think I might call it here, just because I don't want to be cutting corners. And it is getting late, so I'm gonna be taking shortcuts if I'm planning on sticking around. So I'll quickly give that a save. We'll zoom out. Cause I'm also being harsh to myself because we've actually completed a panel today anyway. Tonight's stream, we completed a panel. My brain was like, oh, we haven't completed a panel. This isn't good enough. I need to at least do one minimum. We did. The heel. I'm just being too harsh on myself. Anywho, just exporting now. There we go. I also need to make sure I remember to export the warm up because that's super cute. It looks great. Really happy with how it turned out. Uh, now, does anyone have any recommendations for people to raid to? If not, that's totally okay. We got turn based Dave. We also have Suited. I haven't raided to Suited in a while. Enya is still on observation duty. She's great, but also, I think I've raided her recently. Zelda's doing The Walking Dead, the final season. Haven't raided Simon in a while, but it's totally open to options. Pip, 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 pip. Hmm. Was almost tempted to just go, go with Suited. It's been a while since I've seen Suited. She also likes to check out the art, so I think that might be a good option. How long has she been streaming? 45 minutes. Okay, sweet. 
so that should be perfect. So did have I even told her that I have a new <laughs> new chapter out? God, I don't know. I don't know who I've told about the new chapter. Ah, but it, all that said and done, let's jump across. Start a raid. Um, oh wait, hold on, I'm gonna cancel the raid just to say that we actually do have a raid message as well now. So those of you who want to actually use a raid message, there you go. Very new to raid messages, but anyway, let's actually raid now. Uh, tomorrow will be my break, so I will see all of you on Thursday for some more Killer Frequency, a game that I've really been enjoying. But until then, I will see you all next time.